Okay, here we are. We're in the final part. Penumbria Requiem. The introduction for this is very short. Uh, it just recaps on what happened in Black Plague at the very end, and then... Ouch. We're away. Warning. New arrival detected. Warning. Welcome, new arrival. You are the fourth new arrival detected in the past ten hours. One further arrival recorded 32 hours ago. Yay, so we're back in Penumbra. Good fun. Let's pick up the glowing book. Name, Elof Carpenter. Rank, elevated. Status, Code C, imprisoned. He's alive! We were so close. And yet, following the release of the Turngate virus nine months ago, my personal security has at last been compromised. Yesterday, an unfamiliar survivor arrived in the next door cell. It seems unlikely I will see them again. Ah, uh, hallucinations. They're so fun. Anyway. Yes, um, this isn't an actual, uh, a new sort of game like, uh, Black Plague was to Overture. Because it was actually a separate game. This is, a uh, direct expansion. Uh, so it has the same uh, basic engine as Black Plague did, but it's a very different game. That'll do. Yes, it's a very, very different game actually, in that, uh, uh, for starters, you don't have well, you barely have any pickup items. Three. Oh, another book. Name: Elof Carpenter. Rank: What does it matter? They came for me in the cell, just as I was recording my findings. I felt sure it was over. My cyanide capsule was dud. And then, I came to in this place this monolith it's unlike anything we've found so far true anyway we've got some stuff to do in order to find all the next set of hidden statues because yes that's right there are more hidden statues in this game you have to find them all to get the extra section to the ending, which is always good fun. One of the most interesting things about this game, unlike the previous two games, is that you don't have areas that you move between. You actually have set levels. So this is, for example, is, as you would imagine, level one. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's as I said, I've got to go and grab those bleeding statues. That ladder seems awfully familiar, doesn't it? It's almost as if we've seen it before somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, alright. One down. Now I can get about solving the puzzle. Wasn't there a box around here somewhere?
Right, you are good. Come on, get up there. There's one. Leading thing, come on. You know you want to. Get over there. Hey. And up oh, on the switch. For the record, the two switches didn't actually open that door. The door automatically opens if you go near it. Now, there's a third block over here. What those switches actually did was loosen the hold on that bridge. So we need to do this. Not quite heavy enough, huh? Let's try dropping that in there. Nope, still not working. Well then, let's try dropping this one in there. That worked. <coughs> now here we have the strange orb thing. Exit available. Please exit the area before exit becomes compulsory. Anyway, this is the end of area one. On to area two. <laughs>